Hi everyone, it's Megan and I'm back with my Booktubeathon TBR for 2017. If you didn't know what Booktubeathon is, it is a week-long readathon uh, hosted on Booktube. It was created by YouTuber Ariel Bissett. I will link her channel down below. And basically it will be filled with some video challenges, there are reading challenges, and it's just a fun way to basically read as many books as you can in the week. It starts tomorrow from July 24th until July 30th and this is my TBR for the reading challenges this year. Uh, I will link the reading challenge video by Ariel down below so you can work out what they are from here but let's get started. So challenge number one, read a book with a person on the cover. So for this one I have chosen The Valiant by Leslie Livingston. I've chosen this because obviously well there's a person on the cover which is the challenge but also because I've had this for ages I won it in a giveaway and I haven't got around to it yet and I've heard such good things about it so I thought well this is clearly the perfect time to do it what better way to read a book you haven't read yet than in a readathon so yeah this was my first thought when I thought of this challenge so yeah challenge number two read a hyped book so for this I've gone with The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This book, as everybody knows, is one of the most hyped books at the moment and is also really relevant to the world that we live in currently. And I'm so excited to finally get to it because I have no excuse not to now. And I feel like it's going to ruin me emotionally so I don't know how I'm going to carry on with the rest of the books after I've read this but I'm going to try and that that's what counts. Also this has a person on the cover so I could have used it for either but this is my hype book. I was originally going to use One of Us is Lying by Karen McManus but I actually read it last week and yeah that, that didn't go well. You shouldn't start a book that you're gonna read for a readathon. That's what I learned. Challenge number three, read a book in a day. So I've kind of not cheated but I've gone smart thinking for this one because I've chosen Attack on Titan 4 because it's really small and it's a manga so I feel like I can blast through it quite quickly. I mean I read quite quick anyway but I feel like if I go for a small book then I've got more chance of actually finishing it in the day. So yeah, I've got this. Challenge number four, read a book about a character that's very different from you. I've gone for Our Dark Duet by V.E. Schwab. This is the second book in the Monsters of Verity series and also the final book in the duology. I also need to read this for a book club that I'm part of and I thought what better way to link the booktubeathon and my book club together than read it for both. So I'm really excited to get to this and to finish the duology because the first book was so good and this fits with this challenge because the main character is a monster and I'm, I'm not a monster officially. So yeah, this is why. Challenge number five, read a book completely outdoors. So this is hard for me because I don't like going outside. <laughs> so again, I kind of thought cleverly about it and I've gone Attack on Titan number five because again, it's small. I don't have to sit outside for very long. I mean, it's a win-win. I'm still doing the challenge, but I'm also in my natural habitat of my own house and not in the sun. So I will do this, hopefully, please. Challenge number six, read a book you bought solely for the cover. So I don't do this very often, but when I do, I go all out. So I've chosen Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I have no idea what this book is about at all. It just looked pretty. And it's also a signed edition, so that kind of helped. But I honestly do not know. I couldn't tell you a blurb for it because I don't know what it's about. I just know that Lainey Taylor's a good author. And this book is one of the most beautiful books I've ever seen. Look, it's got spray pages, it's got nice gold embellishment, it's got a gorgeous back cover. I mean, it was made for me to buy. Should I keep buying books just for the cover? Probably not, no. Could this book end up being awful? Probably. Do I care? No. No, I don't. So I'm going to read this. I don't know whether I'm going to get to it, because that's quite a lot of books, but... It's there, look at it, it's beautiful. And then finally, 
the last challenge is to read seven books during the week. So for this, again, I have chosen a small book and I've chosen the first Black Butler. I have yet to start this series and the anime is literally one of my favourites. So I thought, what better way to start your manga collection than doing it in a readathon because there's a lot of books to read in a week. So I've gone for another small one. It's a bit thicker than Attack on Titan, so I'm not kind of cheating, but yeah, I've gone for a clever buy and, you know, using, using my noggin, we hope. So that is my TBR for the Booktubeathon. I also have work next week and I also have other things to write for, like my blog and I, um, I'm the deputy editor of a newspaper at University, a, so I've got to write for that as well. So I do have a lot of things to do during the week, so I am hoping that I can read as much as I can. And I really hope that I can get through all of those books. But I'm not sure, but I'm going to try my best. I also really want to join in with the video challenges that are going to be up, and I guess we'll just see how it goes. I'm really excited to be a part of this because I've seen people do it every year, and I now finally have a booktube to do it, so... I'm really excited for this week and I hope that I get to read as many books as I can. But yeah, so if you are doing the Booktubeathon, whether it be on the video, on your blog or anything like that, please leave a comment below with what you're reading for the week or link me to your video or your blog post. I would love to see what your TBRs are. And hopefully I will see you again sometime this week with a update or just anything related. So. Until next time, bye guys!